Hi everyone, my name is Flex from Digital Pottery. Today I'm going to take you through how I make this uh, amazing steam wire generator. So sometimes some objects tell story more than any objects. So I choose this uh, steam wire generator for this video. In the end I will give you some tips uh, around the camera motion and the focus to focus uh, things. There's a video you can find the steam wire generator from my Gumroad page. Link in the description. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you so much for your support. Stay tuned. The first thing what I did is uh, add spiral curve and after that I add a set position node and select the first point and push it outward x, y and z axis a little bit. Uh, duplicate the set position node again and select the other end point this one and uh, again uh, set the position in x minus 0.4 meter and uh, 0.8 meter uh, and i get this so after this i resample the node like that to get more uh, points from uh, the curve and uh, i set radius node before that i profile the curve with a circle like this and in the middle i added the set curve radius node and to get this uh, sharp edge uh, multiplied it with the float curve and link to the radius and uh, for the second sting type i added the line like this we sample the curve like uh, four points and uh, i change it to curve to mesh uh, with the curve to mesh node uh, profile it with the curve line itself and in between I added a, a transform node uh, to rotate it 90 degree in X axis and offset it uh, a minus 0.5 uh, in X axis to center it and uh, in between uh, the sample curve and uh, curve to mesh node I added the set curve radius node and multiplied the float uh, curve uh, and I uh, get this shape and we can play around with the shape and then I add the transform node to play around with the position and uh, size and then the next thing what I did is uh, create a twisted wire uh, there are two options for that the input curve and uh, for the spiral the first one is a uh, spiral node and the other one is uh, uh, manual drawing mode to create this i added the spiral curve node and uh, rotated uh, 90 degrees in the x and y axis to make it horizontal i added the switch node from a uh, utility menu you can get it here to switch it between the manual drawing and the spiral curve and after that i put a resample curve to resample it based on the lengths i change it to mesh with the help of curve to mesh node profiled it with the circles and uh, the resolution i decrease it because we need uh, more uh, space for the gpu and the memory and then i i split it into with the help of two transform nodes and then join them with, together with the join geometry nodes and uh, get this profile and there is a twist effect for that i add the set curve tilt node multiplied with the index uh, node uh, and play around the multiply value and then the last move that i took was uh, distribute stains around the curves by instancing the points along the spiral and the manual drawing mode i just uh, switch between the two stains by adding switch node the first sting and uh, the flat sting uh, and i can switch it between those two like this 
instances along the curve the spiral or the manual curve again with the switch node here is the input for the manual curve node and here is the input for the spiral node and then rotate the sting coils along the curve uh, with the help of align Euler vector node uh, along the curve tangent and uh, play around the rotation with a random value you can get the random value node from the utility menu here you can get it from here and then the last thing what i did is join all the objects together with the join geometry nodes and i created the y the y stance this is easy you can do it so i don't want to go through it and uh, in between uh, join geometry and the uh, group output i put a my set a material node and added a material and the, the last tip that i want to give is uh, on the camera so there are two steps that i took uh, for this kind of uh, look the first thing is a uh, depth of field that gives you a more cinematic look uh, the second is uh, add a motion like a hand uh, breathing effect uh, for the depth of field you can go to the camera setting on the property uh, panel and on the depth of field you can play around the focus lengths. I play around the focal lengths, uh, set a keyframe like this. We always do it when we hold cameras to adjust the focus. So that's why it gives it more natural feelings. The second thing that I did is go to the graph editor, select the camera on the Y and X axis, add a modifier from end panel menu noise and play around the values and it will give you more natural feeling like you holding a real camera thank you for watching stay tuned for amazing asset techniques and add-ons supports like subscribe and share ciao